nigga. Just do you. What's up YouTube, it's Kelvin here and today I'm going on a food hunt with a friend of mine. We are in Domain right now and there's this famous restaurant called Heavy Do Restaurant or Chop Bar. That's where we'll be going to today. So join us. Samuel, do you want to come in? If <laughs> Okay, <laughs> introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Samuel and I am on a trip with my good friend Kelvin. Yeah, heavy to heavy do for our lunch. Yes. See you later. Yes. <laughs> Few moments later. Uh -huh, talk, talk. So it's from like La Paz to somewhere like Tama, like mm. on the Tama motorway. Mm. There's a road in the middle, and then from there the sky slopes by the side of the road. Smooth road, assist me, moving the road across the so it makes it like a beautiful place to actually live there. Yeah. But they were also poor like us. Yeah. Dubai, Indonesia, uh, not Indonesia, uh, Singapore. Singapore all these all these places were all poor like uh, but they just capitalized on exactly. certain few things and, and, then, and then they made it work for them. Yes, of course. So like that. Do you know actually Malaysia came to Africa and take only just three seeds from palm oil. The palm oil. Yeah. Hmm. And we've been here for and then today they are the largest producer of palm oil in the world. Wow, I see. That's amazing. That's what we planning and developing. Wow, I see. Yeah. You know that guy? Yeah, I know that guy. Okay. So, what they did basically was to plan and then develop. You cannot develop and say you are coming to plan. How do you do that? You have to plan <laughs> yeah. and then the block. That's how it is. That's how it might be. Let's cross so that we face the car. Yes. Now. See, that's how it's now. Yeah. Madonna, any time it's getting rain. Yeah. There's still crisis. Yeah. 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 This is a modern business. Yes. When you got with the problem, you have to be four years in power. Mm -hmm. So many things to do. How are you going to be a problem? I think it also has to do with the fact that uh, most of the time, the, the leaders don't tend to continue what the other, this one, the, 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 their predecessors did. Because there's always a change in power between parties, right? So, yeah, so I feel like they feel they feel like they feel like the question here that I have to ask you. What do you think that it's time for us to have a look at our constitution? What what about the constitution do you want us to do? Because I think that like the years. Not about the years, but I think that see there's so much power that has been given to the executive. Yeah. Or the president. Yes. So I think that then irrespective of the president that actually comes to power. The system has been set up in a city that there. The directors are the various main ministers. Should be able to implement projects whether a minister is appointed or not. That's what I see. Because if you go to the US, currently, Trump has lost an election. But there are people within his government who are able to stood up to what you are doing. Yes. They say it's not wrong. But if you are in the US, who would you have supported? Trump. I, I, I tend to like Trump more. Because that's why it's tough to talk Yes, he, he gets things done. He's, he gets things done. The, uh, he's the kind of man that you can say, you will do it. He's, yes. Most of the things he said he would do, he did. He did it. Because that's the way that Africans have naturally put out of that. Even though he said that when he comes, you will deport 
most Africans back into their mm. respective countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is still Barack Obama Trump. who actually deported the most. Uh, yes. yes. So it means that Trump actually didn't actually import a lot as people wanted us to believe. The, okay. the thing is, the thing is the manipulation of the media. Because yeah. most of, majority of the media is owned by Democrats. Exactly. So and, then, and they control what the people think. Exactly. Most people, most human beings are not objective. Like mm -hmm. they don't question things. Yeah. And I think it's, it stems from laziness too. Why would I do research to find out whether this, what the media is saying is true? Whether, or else I can just believe it. You see, the media, the media carries a particular way. Too. Yes. Because every day... It is the people who have given the media that power. Yes. And you see, sometimes it's like, it's better to have uh, ugly noises than to have a culture of silence. <laughs> a culture of silence where that people cannot feel free to express themselves. Mm -hmm. Than to have ugly noises where people can make unnecessary noise. It's much better. Mm -hmm. So I think that even though the media has excessive power, it's good. I think I think you giving the media let's pass it. You giving the media that much power it reduces the accountability. It makes them less accountable for what they post. How? Because last it? time uh, you see you see the the thing when it comes to any situation, mm -hmm. it is there is what the, the truth when it comes to the truth it is what someone is saying versus what you see versus what actually happened if you manipulate what people see they will believe whatever you make them believe okay. do you get it okay. for example if a woman points a gun at, at you that like she tries to kill you and, and you, you, you end up fighting with the woman and taking the gun away. Uh -huh. People who see that full scenario will say, well, I've you for what you did, right? Exactly. But if I show you wrestling with a woman alone, what do people think? They say that so. You are abusing, you are, you, are, you, are, you are fighting a woman. Yeah. That's what they think. So you see how the media can manipulate what you see. It depends but, on what they decide to do. But, okay, but what, what I also think that, I think that the media can be. The media, mm. we can allow the host of the shows. Mm -hmm. Maybe media can have their opinions mm -hmm. rather than saying we should actually stay the fact and leave the opinions to the people. The people they can actually stay the fact and then state their opinions about the fact as well. But isn't doesn't doesn't that happen? Isn't that what's happening? Mostly, our media is skewed towards a particular way. Mm -hmm. So, even though they still know the truth, they still have the facts. Yeah. Because of sometimes personal agendas and styles they have against particular people. Yeah. They will still actually will not do will not do justice to the issues. Mm -hmm. Because, for instance, we all know that uh, before someone accuses you of something, mm -hmm. you have a right. Uh, you are presumed innocent until proven proven yes. guilty. Yes, but now yes, a case whereby an investigative journalist mm -hmm. isn't, that's a right. Mm -hmm. No court of competent jurisdiction gives a ruling. Mm -hmm. They bring the video out and then assume the person guilty. Yes, even though the person has not been taken into court and proven mm -hmm. otherwise. So those are the other issues. That I think that as a country, you also need to. Developer, look at it. Uh, Kevin, let me ask you this question. What is your opinion on the voting of DCs? The electoral commissioner? No, the voting of DCs. This G is, ah, this is, this is, this is, how is it done? So I just wanted to find out from do you think that anyone who wants to be a, a DC should go on a ticket of a party or you should go as an independent person? Independent person. Right. Because then there's less manipulations, right? Because if, if it is done by an independent party, mm -hmm. then there's less manipulation. Mm -hmm. their, their power is not so restricted. That's what I feel. Because mm -hmm. I feel like when it comes to 
party politics. There are individual people who, in a party who do not always agree with the party's general ideology, right? But they, they have their, here's the case, their hands are tied. Because okay. the situation has become like, you either join us or we kick you out. Okay. You get it? Yeah. And then, do you think that if people go independent, do you think that you know? Okay, so you're saying what? So I'm saying. Okay, so guys, we are now at Heavy Do. Heavy Do and Next Plaza. And Next Plaza. Yeah. That is. Yeah, this way we are coming to enjoy yeah, this way our, our lunch. <laughs> our super, super, super lunch. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. How do you get to the top? We will be able to oh, we should go, go to out. Let's go back. We got lost inside. We are going hey, down. we didn't get lost. Snitch on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hey, so you're saying something about what? The theory of what? The theory, the theory. The, theory? the, the poor theory. person's theory, something like that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah, the food. What's your thinking? Let me think of one more. Good. You said you read a book. No, let's pass it. Here. Yeah. Okay. There's actually something for the poor living in the urban, in the urban, urban city. Okay. So you see some, some place like this level. Uh -huh. The poor... Is it a theory or is it a book? No, it was a research. Okay, okay. okay. That was okay. done. Okay, so continue. Yeah, so that research actually talked about the poor people who are living in the city of this level. Uh -huh. Claiming to be part of this Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, they are poor people, <laughs> and the poor will have contributed to our 30 percent. Is this it? Okay, yeah. let me so, let me that part again. Come. Here. Few moments later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So finally, we are here at the heavy door. Chopper. But back then it was indoor. The yeah, restaurant was like, indoor. And it seems like the church or the tutorial. Oh, they had, they rented a place now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so guys, we are here now. So Kevin, before you end, what are you going to have at this lunch? I don't, I don't really know what you're going to have, but oh. let's. Good afternoon. Oh. Are you, are you the one in charge? Oh, okay. Oh no, we want to have lunch here. That's okay. We need to have lunch. Where do you want to sit? Where do you want to sit? No, you pick anywhere you want. Okay. No, you 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 then sit here. I'll, I'll sit here. Because then I can. Where is the menu? Uh, excuse me. The 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 menu. The menu. Oh, okay. Oh. People seem to be worried about me me recording. Uh, yes, yes. I mean, everyone is looking at us. Yeah, everyone everyone is looking at us. So they yeah they want to find out why we are recording. Some of you explain to them. Yeah, for my channel, my YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. You're from YouTube. No, not YouTube. YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. It's something like that. For my channel. Yes. Yes, I have a YouTube channel. So what will be your caption? Uh, <laughs> yes. So, so what? Oh, don't worry. It depends. It depends on. on the internet. So when I see. Don't worry. Anything bad about the captioner. Don't worry. Please, your handle. Uh, just do you. Just do. You. Yes, just do. And you is you. you. Are and subscribe. Okay. Thank you very much. So we actually took it from our journey from Latu. from Latu to this place. So yes. What we usually do is that we go to different famous food bars, uh, chop bars, and we record. Yes. The main one is Oh, okay. Oh, come closer. If, if are you the one in charge or? <laughs> oh, you are shy. <laughs> when you put it, you you have to. Okay. The main one is. 
Lim Lim. Okay. That's the main one. Okay. And here is a Hanes. Hanes, Tommy. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. those of you who are watching us, we are live and help you do next. Yes, help you do next, Tommy. In case this next month we are New Year, what a place for your lunch, breakfast, anything, just come to help you do. Yes, and yes, yes. Super food, yes. Ghanaian authentic super food. So come and join us. And anytime you, anytime you come to Dome Pillar Two, or no, not necessarily Pillar Two, but Dome, and you want to eat something traditional, even if you're a foreigner, you want to eat something traditional, you can come here, ask for heavy do and next. It's a very famous yes. chop bar in in Dome here. Okay. So what you guys don't know is that I'm going to be honest with my ratings. I'll rate the restaurant based on their customer service. Because exactly. what I notice is that. In, many, in Ghana here, many restaurants lack that. They don't really have very good customer service as compared to outside Ghana. So that is one thing I'll be taking note of if I want to hype or praise a restaurant. Every review I'll be giving will be an honest review, so yes. And then there's, secondly, to rate them on adherence to COVID-19. Yes, ad ad adherence to COVID-19 protocol so, and also how good the food tastes. Don't worry, we'll give you our honest review of any every of that thing of how the food tastes and everything okay nothing we do here will be faked thanks look at the research that was published by ctfm it actually talked about the poor living in the urban cities whereby the focus was on east legon whereby 30 percent of the people living in east legon are poor so most of them are being forced to actually sell their properties to the rich. And they move to pre-urban towns, such as Amasamai, Kupase, so that they can go and live there, so that the rich will come and live in the East Legon. But if you are poor and you are still living in East Legon, the economic effect that country is living in East Legon will still affect you. Because mm -hmm. people... Yes, that is the population is higher. Than yes, it. yes, yes. Food prices and the other stuff are very, very high. Then. So, if, if you're poor and you're still living in this community and you don't sell, and it, it is not an optional, you're forced to sell mm -hmm. because of the economic conditions in that yeah. country there. Yeah. So, that's one of the key things that you want to look at. So, do you think it innovates people to be, it motivates people to be innovative? No, you see, it actually allows people to actually have a self-assessment of themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, where am I living? Do I fix that lifestyle? Or do I move out? Do I move out? Okay. That's fair. Mm, that makes sense. I think, I think, I think it, also, it also tends to push people to be more innovative, like about, or strategic about how yes. they, they plan their lives. Yes, and then it's also, you see, it's also generally fit into the concept of development because if I assume I'm living in a, a community somewhere in the rural community there's a factory there working mm -hmm. why would I have to move all the way to this they're gonna be living, living in a in a container building. Oh yeah someone I, I brought this for you okay, thank you why will I need to be living in a small distance a, a container building mm -hmm. in this Legon bye bye maybe I have a house in my Mm, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Thanks for telling us about what you found on City. What is it? What website? CTFM. CTFM. Oh, okay. So you can check on CTFMonline.com. Okay, for the same thing. Okay. Okay, so yeah, guys, uh, we didn't come early. When we came, things are almost finished. Like, the meat, the chicken is finished. All they have is salmon. salmon. They have they have fufu, they have benku, just these two. And they have light soup, okra soup, palm nut soup, granite soup. Yes. And the only protein they have for now is salmon. Because it came late, that's why. Yeah, so so far the customer service is good here. So let's we are at Heavy Do Annex in Dome. So, yeah. So, what is left with the taste of the food that Yes, yes. We are now going to have a taste of the food. 
and who decide on that. Yes. I can't record you. No, I won't record you eat. I just want to open the food and see. I won't record you. Okay. It's the same thing someone ordered. So. Okay. So let me let me turn that. So yeah guys, you'll be eating now. I can't really record as eating, but we'll be eating and we'll let you know of our honest review of how this food is. You can't really. <laughs> Someone is shy. <laughs> she doesn't want me to show you eating. So, yes, you have to respect his privacy and everything. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, yeah. When we are done, we'll let you know, okay? Okay, guys, we just finished eating. Yes, we just finished. And as you can see, it will be my water. Show them what. This is my mud. This is my water. Just finish it. Yeah, so. And we are returning from our heavy three days. Yes. Kevin, tell them your overall impression. About. Oh, yeah, the customer service there was good. I mean, they were quite interactive. I don't know if it's because we were recording, but they were actually receptive to the fact that we were. Yeah, they didn't cause. I'm sure in other places they wouldn't have allowed us to record like that. But so far the customer service was good, and the yes. Well, I can't really say much about that because there was not a lot of people there, so you can't really judge. Because it was quite late when we got there, right? So I can't really judge based on what we saw. Because we were, I think we were the only people there, right? Since and yeah, I told you guys already that when we got there, the food was. Almost finished. Yeah, so you can't really blame them for that because that place is a really sort out chop bar. Now, what what do you think about the food? Wow. Amazing. Nice food. Uh -huh. The meat was great. Oh, you didn't get meat. It was salmon. Salmon, yeah. So the salmon was great. Uh, the soup. It was great because it was not light, light or that. Tick, tick, no, no. What food did you get? I ate fufu mm -hmm. with light soup yeah. and salmon. Yeah, I also got the same thing. The price was affordable for everybody. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't that. It wasn't expensive. No. Yeah. Believe me, spend more than. Yeah, and they even, they even, you know, they they dash this the price of one. Oh. Oh. That was great. You only had to pay for one wow. meal, so yeah. So that was great. That was great. Means it tells you the kind of customer service. Yeah, have. they have there. Like have so the, far, I'll say the customer service is good. It's good, hundred percent. Even though we don't give people hundred percent, but we give them hundred percent with a five star rating. Well, well, generally, I always thought when it comes to Ghana, the, the customer service sucks because I have. Being to China and the customer service there is great. Like they are polite and everything. One thing I noticed about Ghana is that they don't have that notion of the customer is always right. You know, if you go outside, they have this notion, notion yeah. like the customer is always right. right. So yeah. usually the attendants there try their best to please their customers. 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 But this is not something that is well known here in Ghana. That's why people come to the workplace angry and they end up like Bossing, yes, express, expressing their anger, directing their anger to the customers. I have been a victim of that too. I was like, wow, what the hell? But it wasn't in this case. So far, everything was good. Yeah. You have a meal. Yes. So 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 how would you rate the food? In terms of ah. how good the food is. I give it a four star. A four star? Yes, by nominal figures, I give it eight over ten. Eight over ten. Yeah. I would also give it a four star. Yeah. I also give it a four star. In terms of numbers, let's see. I'll give it 
I also give it an 8. I don't really rate. I don't give any food 10 over 10 actually. Apart from my mom's my mom's food. I don't give any food 10 over 10. So yeah. 8 over 10 is what I'll give them. So I mean so one. Yeah, so if you guys ever come to Dome, just ask for heavy do chop bar. Though directly to the place it's, it's close to the Dome market. Heavy do annex at Dome. They said that the main branch is at the Coco Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the main branch is also at Coco We will not be checking that place out. But you guys can if you ever happen to be at Coco Mlimli. So yeah, right now. I'm heading back home. Someone is escorting me back home. So yeah. Once I get home, I'll let you guys know. Okay. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of my very first food hunting vlog. There'll be more materials like this coming up soon. And also my workouts with things and other stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. The link to my other channel will be down in the description below. Catch you guys next time. Remember, just do you.